so many languages, so few books. We visit libraries in the United States and we see how they're trying to serve their local communities. Before we get more into that topic, Pauline, I would like to talk about your favorite literary genre. What is it? My favorite literary genre by far is memoir. So nonfiction, somebody writing about their own life, Mm. uh, stories about their own life, helping me understand a different perspective on the world or yeah you can learn a lot from those perspectives Mm -hmm. right yeah absolutely i usually read nonfiction, uh, just books that maybe i can learn from and apply things to my everyday life but i feel like i need to read fiction every now and then too Mm -hmm. right throw that in there but that's usually my go-to All right, what are your thoughts on what's going on here in California? They're trying to offer more books for residents. Uh, The people they're serving in this instance, their native tongue isn't English. And so they're going, for example, to Cambodia to search for more Mm -hmm. books to serve their local uh, Cambodian community. What are your thoughts on this? I just love it. I think it's awesome. I think uh, in America, we should be encouraging bilingualism. Mm. Um, the more that we can have our citizens who speak multiple languages, the, I mean, just from an economic social standpoint, mm. like we are setting ourselves up well if our citizens can speak multiple languages and we want children to be able to read and embrace their, their culture of their family, of mm-hmm. their background, as well as, of course, learning English and being able to really uh, uh, thrive in the United States. And I think bringing those both together is important. I know for me, even when I lived in the States, I used to go to the library and look for all of the Spanish books I could find because mm-hmm. I was trying to learn and get better at Spanish. So also there's that side for yeah. language learners who want to connect. I just mm-hmm. think the more languages we can have represented in the library, the better for and everybody I'm, all around. I'm sure with Spanish in particular, you mm-hmm. probably have a better chance of, of finding that, right? Because there are a lot but of But still Spanish not as people. much as not I as wanted. Much, yes. I think I read almost everything they had. <laughs> wow, that's, an, that's impressive. You must have read a lot, or maybe they didn't have a lot. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, the takeaway is the library did not have a lot. Got it, got it. All right. Well, speaking of reading, what is a book, Pauline, that you've read recently that's really impacted you mm. or giving you fresh insight on a subject? Well, I will say one of the benefits of the pandemic for me personally is I have read way more books this year than I had in a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm so grateful for that. Uh, one of the highlights, though, of all the books I've read this last year was the book Just Mercy. There's mm. a movie that's based mm-hmm. off of it. Um, the movie's great. The book's even better, as often yes. is the case. Yeah. It's deeply inspiring, as well as a difficult read to learn about some of the injustices in our justice system, system in the United States, but also a powerful story of one man who's done a lot to uh, to restore justice. Absolutely. I have seen the movie. I haven't read the book. It's incredible. So I highly recommend that. Well, thank you, Pauline, for joining us for another month of Insights. And thank you for joining us for this segment. We'll see you next time here on Insights.